Big Brother 23 premiered on July 7th, 2021 as 16 brand new house guests vied for a shot at a Big Brother record $750,000 grand prize. Unbeknownst to the house guests, this season of Big Brother would be played in four teams of four. The house guests moved into the BB23 house four at a time and immediately competed in a competition that would determine the four team captains for the summer. The team captains were Christian, Claire, Frenchie, and Whitney. After being told that the season would be played in teams, all four captains began selecting players until all the teams were filled. The four teams were as follows, the Jokers with Frenchie, Aza, Brittany, and Derek F, also known as Big D. The Aces with Whitney, Brent, Derek X, and Hannah. The Kings with Christian, Alyssa, Xavier, and Sarah Beth. And the Queens with Claire, Kyland, Tiffany, and Travis. The four teams then competed in the first HOH competition of the summer, where the winning team is automatically safe and their captain is HOH. In the end, the Jokers and team captain Frenchie win the HOH competition, ensuring safety for all four members. Julie then gives Frenchie a double or nothing offer, saying if he can land a pair of dice on a platform in a given time, then his team can receive two weeks of safety. But Frenchie declines. After everyone officially introduces themselves, Big D and Frenchie form an immediate final two deal, and Frenchie tells everyone that he will be the showman's killer and promises not to nominate any women. He plans on getting what he calls a meathead out of the house, targeting one of Brent or Christian. But after talking to Brent, he doesn't want to target him anymore, so he sets his eyes on Christian. House guests are then informed about the wild card competition, a competition where one member of each team will compete for safety. In the end, Christian wins and has the ability to save one more teammate from eviction for the week. Knowing that Frenchie has already promised safety to the women, he chooses Xavier. Leaving Frenchie with few options left, he gets the idea that Christian and Alyssa are in a showman's and decides to throw Alyssa up on the block next to Kyland leaving everyone in the house confused about his decision. Christian and Alyssa attempt to convince Frenchie that they're not in a showmance. Frenchie is trying to set his eyes on a new target, so he convinces himself that Derek X is acting fishy and is forming new alliances. You can't make this stuff up. In the midst of Frenchie's chaotic HOH, an under-the-radar alliance forms between Tiffany, Aza, Big D, Xavier, Hannah, and Kyland called The Cookout with the goal of ensuring the first ever black winner of Big Brother. Eventually, Tiffany comes up with the plan for each member of the cookout to have a close bond with someone from the other side of the house so that it further ensures down the line that there are never two members of the cookout on the block at the end of the week. Derek X then wins the power veto competition, further throwing a wrench in Frenchie's plans. Derek X ends up using the power of veto on Kyland where Travis is put up as the replacement nominee. Frenchie then forms an alliance called the Slaughterhouse with Big D, Kyland, Christian, Whitney, Brent, Alyssa, and Xavier in an attempt to cover himself from all angles. With little effort made to save himself, Travis is the first person evicted from the Big Brother 23 house in an 11-2 vote. At the next HOH competition, Kyland comes out on top and Tiffany immediately puts in work to get Frenchie on the block. With Frenchie getting the feeling he'll be going on the block, he feels betrayed and then tells various Slaughterhouse members that he's done with the Alliance. Frenchie competes in the wildcard competition against Sarah Beth and Brent, where Sarah Beth wins and is told she can only keep the safety if she switches teams with one member of the Queens, who are all safe. Sarah Beth refuses, and after asking everyone who they want out of the house this week, the only person not to throw out Frenchie's name is Brittany, who Kylan then throws up on the block next to Frenchie. Everybody is talking about how Frenchie is losing his mind and they need to get him out of the house. Meanwhile, Frenchie is outing the Slaughterhouse Alliance to everyone. At the veto competition, Derek X wins yet again and decides not to use the veto, leaving Frenchie and Brittany on the block. In the fallout of the Slaughterhouse, members of the Kings, Queens, and Derek X come together and decide to target both Brent and Whitney over the next couple of weeks, and this coalition comes to be known as the Royal Flush. Frenchie is then evicted 11 to 1 and Xavier becomes the new head of household. Through his alliances, Xavier knows his only real options for nominations are Brent, Whitney, or Brittany. Meanwhile, Christian and Alyssa are actually in a full-fledged showman's now, and Hannah and Derek X are becoming super close. After Derek X and Tiffany target Brittany in the wildcard comp to ensure she stays a possibility for nominations, Tiffany wins. When Xavier tells Aza that Brittany may need to go up on the block as a pawn, Aza doesn't want her to go up again and offers herself to go up instead. Brent also knows something is up and says he knows that if he goes up on the block, he's the target. Xavier then nominates Brent and Brittany with the intention of getting Brent out. Aza tells Tiffany she's upset with how her and Derek X treated Brittany in the wildcard comp. 
which Tiffany is not very sympathetic towards. Christian then wins the power of veto and elects not to use it. Although Brent thinks he has made an alliance called the Mafia that includes the majority of voters for the week, nobody takes it seriously. The Royal Flush Alliance plans on targeting Whitney for the next week, but Sarah Beth brings up why instead they could target Hannah, and which worries Xavier since they are both in the cookout together. Meanwhile, Brent is voted out unanimously, and Christian becomes the next HOH. Further discussions happen with the Kings about whether they should target Whitney or Hannah. Claire wins the wildcard competition and is given the choice to save her entire team for the week or save herself until jury, and she chooses to save herself. Sarah Beth further gives her argument as to why they should target Hannah over Whitney or Brittany, with cookout members Xavier, Kylan, and Tiffany having to argue against it without looking suspicious. At nominations, Christian puts up Whitney and Hannah. Whitney feels betrayed and thinks that Derek X is responsible for her being on the block. Aza reveals she has a crush on Xavier. Tiffany decides she needs to start planting seeds against Sarah Beth and warns Hannah that she was working hard to get her on the block this week. Christian then wins veto again and doesn't use it. Sarah Beth is beginning to get super close with Kylan. At eviction, Whitney goes on a unanimous vote. And after promising Xavier and Alyssa safety, Derek X becomes the new HOH and sets his eyes on backdooring Christian. But first he puts up Christian's fellow King team member Sarah Beth and Joker, Brittany, as pawns. Derek X informs Sarah Beth of the plan to backdoor Christian and wants to make sure she doesn't pick him for veto. He also convinces the Kings that he's actually targeting a member of the Joker's team. Brittany then wins the power of veto competition and right before the ceremony, Derek informs Alyssa, who tips off Christian, that he's probably going on the block. And after Christian makes a last second plea and Brittany takes herself off, Derek X puts Christian on the block. Tiffany realizes that keeping Christian is better for her game than Sarah Beth and tells him that all of the Jokers who are telling him he has their votes are actually lying to him. She begins a campaign to flip the vote, but Tiffany's open frustration with the Jokers upsets Big D. In the end, the vote flip doesn't happen, and Christian goes home on a vote of 7 to 2. Julie then informs the house guests of a new twist called the High Rollers Room. Kylan becomes the new HOH, which upsets Tiffany because she knows he won't nominate Sarah Beth. The cookout members begin to struggle more and more, knowing that soon they'll have to start cutting people they have close bonds with outside of the cookout. Kylan is at a loss, not knowing what will happen with the High Rollers room and twist and play. Not knowing that the cookout exists, Claire drops some of their names to Kylan and saying who she might target in the future, which sketches out Kylan. Big D offers himself to go up as a pawn, so he goes up next to Claire. The house guests are explained the High Rollers room twist, where America will vote each week to award house guests various amount of BB bucks that will determine whether or not they can compete for advantages in the game. The first advantage is the veto derby, where competing house guests who score the most are allowed to place bets on who will win the power of veto competition, with the person who placed their bet correctly receiving a second power of veto for themselves. Those who are placing bets are Kylan, Claire, and Sarah Beth. Tiffany talks to Kylan and clears up any sketchiness about Claire, which makes Kylan feel better. At the OTEV veto competition, Alyssa wins, and with Kylan placing his bet on Alyssa to win, he receives a second power of veto. Now feeling that Brittany would be more of a threat to the cookout than Claire, Kylan intends on backdooring Brittany, and he has Sarah Beth give her a heads up so she's not blindsided, and Brittany is pissed. At the veto ceremony, Alyssa does not use her veto, but Kylan uses his veto on Claire and puts up Brittany as the replacement. Claire and Derek X see there's a clear advantage in keeping Brittany over Big D and want to flip the vote, but Tiffany and Hannah have to shut down the plan without clearly showing their cookout allegiance. Brittany is then voted out 7-1. Sarah Beth then wins the head of household competition. Tiffany is pissed yet again that Sarah Beth can't go home this week. Kylan has an ultimate goal as the person closest to Sarah Beth to make sure she doesn't put up two members of the cookout. Derek X and Claire slowly start getting more suspicious of a bigger alliance that they're not aware of that Tiffany might be involved in. Sarah Beth plans to backdoor Derek X this week and decides to put up Claire and Big D as her two pawns. At the High Rollers room, Derek X is awarded enough BB bucks by America to compete for this week's advantage, but feels safe and decides to save his money and not play. Alyssa is the only one to play for the advantage and automatically wins, granting her safety, allowing her to take a nominee off the block, which she chooses Big D, and allowing her to spin a roulette wheel to determine the replacement nominee, which ends up being her closest ally, Xavier. Claire figures out that Derek X is definitely the backdoor target. After Derek X doesn't even get picked to play in the power of veto, Xavier wins the competition but does so by taking a punishment where he will automatically go up as a third nominee at the next available opportunity. Claire feels like she let Derek X and Tiffany down. 
At the veto ceremony, Derek X goes up as the replacement nominee and is voted out on a vote of five to two, and Tiffany wins the next HOH. Knowing that Sarah Beth is target number one for Tiffany, Kylan offers himself to go up on the block next to her. So Tiffany does just that, with Xavier automatically going up as the third nominee. In the final High Rollers Room competition, the advantage is the Coin of Destiny, where the winner of that has the ability to dethrone the HOH and make completely new nominations. Claire wins this competition, successfully dethrones Tiffany, but keeps the nominations exactly the same. Hannah then wins the Power of Veto competition, uses the Power of Veto on Xavier, and since Xavier was put on the block as a punishment, there was no replacement nominee. The three remaining guys, Kylan, Xavier, and Big D, form a final three. Sarah Beth is evicted on a vote of five to one. Tiffany then wins the next Head of Household competition. It's a battle on whether to send home Claire or Alyssa this week since they're the two remaining non-cookout members. Before the HOH competition, members of the cookout agreed that Claire should be the one to go home this week. With Tiffany winning, Claire's closest ally, this upset the other members of the cookout. The three remaining men especially grow more and more concerned about Tiffany. Tiffany then puts up Alyssa and Xavier for eviction. Xavier is worried that Tiffany will refuse to put up Claire if the veto is used. Alyssa wins the veto competition and Tiffany sits down Claire to explain her situation without specifically name dropping the cookout and lets her know she'll be putting her on the block. Although Claire is upset, she understands and Claire is then a final nominee. But now it's double eviction night. At the first eviction, Claire goes on a four to one vote. And at the double eviction HOH, Hannah wins and immediately nominates Alyssa and Xavier, pretending to Alyssa that Xavier is the main target. Xavier then wins POV, uses it on himself, and Kylan is put in his place. Alyssa is then voted out 3-1, to one, making the six members of the cookout the final six of Big Brother 23. Kylan wins the final six HOH and vows to stick with the guy's final three agreement and target Tiffany this week, so he nominates her next to Hannah. Hannah feels that Kylan is simply playing Xavier's game for him and he's destined to lose to him. Kylan wins the power of veto and decides not to use it, ultimately sending Tiffany home on a unanimous vote. But it's another double eviction. Aza wins the head of household competition. Aza lies to Hannah and says she wants Xavier out when actually she wants her out. Kylan wins the double eviction veto and uses it on Xavier, leaving Hannah and Big D on the block and sending Hannah out on a 2-0 vote. Xavier wins the final four head of household competition and thinks it might be time to get Kylan out, even though he thinks Kylan would take him to the end. He nominates Kylan and Aza. Big D lets Aza know about the final three he made with the guys and is now conflicted on who he would vote out between Kylan and Aza if he had the chance. And he's also now concerned on Kylan's hesitancy to saying that he would take Big D to the final two with him. Xavier wins the final four POV and decides not to use it, leaving Big D with the sole vote to evict, where he blindsides Kyland, who has some choice words with Xavier on his way out the door. It, if Kylan. your nephew has nobody to look up to, that- Keep talking about can, my nephew, guys. If your nephew Xavier. has nobody- In the three-part final HOH competition, Xavier wins part one and will automatically advance to part three. In part two, Aza defeats Big D and will compete in part three versus Xavier. In part three, Xavier comes out on top and casts his sole eviction vote for Aza, making Xavier and Big D the final two of Big Brother 23. The previous nine evictees come back to question Xavier and Big D to discuss the cookout alliance that dominated the game and to cast their votes on who they want to win BB23. In the end, the jury unanimously casts their votes for Xavier and he becomes the winner of Big Brother 23 and the $750,000 grand prize. And there you go, Big Brother 23. Thank you everyone so much for watching this recap. As always, I only recapped the edited episodes that aired on CBS, but there was so much more action that happened and so many more storylines that I couldn't cover in this quick recap. So I encourage everyone to go back and listen to podcasts like ours or go listen to Taryn's live feed recaps. Uh, or you can head over to sites like Hamster Watch if you really want a full idea of what was happening on the live feeds over the course of the season. And since I didn't cover everything, feel free to comment down below if you felt like there's important info that others might want to know about the season that I left out of this video. Also, if you want to leave a like or subscribe to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, everyone.